Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Friday edition of our Community Connection for Valley Forth Church. Pastor Joe Persh with you along with Pastor Josh Kintai. And we're so grateful that you're checking in to find out what's happening in our ministry, but also maybe to get some, some insight and encouragement uh, as you begin uh, looking forward to the weekend of worship together. Uh, Josh, we've got a, a few things that we want to remind people about that are happening before we get into our, our discussion today. So, Yeah, so here's the August announcements. We've got something for men and something for women. Uh, so the women uh, have a park day scheduled on Tuesday, August 18th. It's at Browns Park uh, over at the corner of 32nd and Pines. Yep. And uh, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m., bring your own chair, bring your own lunch. You'll sit, uh, you know appropriate distance, of That's course, right. yeah. and uh, they did one of these earlier and had a good time. So they did. I want to encourage you, uh, more infos on our website or on Facebook uh, about the Women's Park Day. And then the men uh, have a men's golf tournament scheduled for uh, Saturday morning, August 22nd. It's a simple nine-hole uh, best ball tournament. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, you do have to register ahead of time for that. We've got 36 spots. I think 12 are taken already. All right. Uh, so go to valleyforth.com forward slash men. And uh, men of all ages can participate. So if dads want to bring their sons. Uh, oh, that'll be great. That's great. Uh, we're looking forward to that. And I also want to make a note that uh, the youth summer camp that was planned for the end of August uh, will unfortunately not be able to happen this year uh, because of some increased regulations. They made that decision. Uh, but youth group continues to meet uh, every Wednesday night here. Um, during the yeah, summer uh, following the regulations so they can still participate in youth group. So that's your August announcements. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Josh. You know, we want to spend a little time today. Things are quieting down because it's August to talk a little bit about uh, the dynamics of the spiritual life, particularly in this challenging time. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to talk about the fruit of the spirit and how to manifest that uh, in our lives more intentionally uh, and uh, you know, I'm sure you've, you've, you've heard of the phrase, the fruit of the Spirit, if you've been a believer very long, not only through your Bible reading, but if you grew up in church, Josh, I, I don't know, you, you might have been taught about that in some of the children's ministries that we have. And believe me, it's, it's, it's a topic that you can never exhaust. And so we want to spend a couple minutes talking with you about it. And I'll, I'll lead off just by talking mm -hmm. in general about what you and I as Bible teachers know about, about the fruit of the Spirit, the the, uh, the dynamic place to find it, find it talked about in Scripture is Galatians 5, right? Yep, Galatians 5. Uh, let me read uh, just uh, verses 22 and 23, just kind of a summary of those. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, mm. kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Mm. And uh, what a list. And what... what, uh, what uh, a beautiful expression that is when it's seen in the life of the believer. Now, it's contrasted in the same chapter yep. with the works and desires of the flesh, which is not where we want to go, but it's where our old sinful nature draws us. Galatians 5, 19, those desires of the flesh are sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy. What a list. Yeah. Don't want to be living no, there. Don't want to be there. Um, but the whole context of the chapter begins in verse 1 of Galatians 5, where he talks about it is for freedom that Christ has mm -hmm. set us free. And that's freedom not only from having to live under the old religious law that Galatians were being tempted to do, but the freedom to live in the power of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and to be freed from the old pull of what the Bible calls the flesh, which is that dimension of sin that's still with us even though we're new believers in Christ that pulls us back into living for ourselves and out of ourselves. So there's a big contrast in the chapter and uh, the fruit of the spirit is really the beauty of christ manifest through the christian mm -hmm. in his personal actions or or his personal relationships is how i put it Good. Okay. and uh so that I, that's the summary of it but let me get to the to the the applicational question okay. josh yeah. i want you to get get into this for us how do i demonstrate that how does that fruit of the spirit appear in my life as a christian yeah, well, we certainly all want it. Uh, we've got to note, though, it's the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our lives. So if I try on my own power That's right. to accomplish all these things, I'm, I'm going to be frustrated. Um, it does take some effort on my part, but it's really with the help of the Holy Spirit inside of it. So I've got uh, two words for you, uh, okay. cooperate and cultivate. So these are the ways that the believer experiences uh, the fruit of the Spirit in their life. We cooperate with the work of the Holy Spirit. Um, you know, the contrast there was the, the deeds of the flesh and the deeds of the Spirit. And so I kind of have this choice every day, sometimes even every hour, whether I'm going to 
cooperate with my sinful fleshly desires or I'm going to cooperate with what the Holy Spirit is leading me to do. And I make that choice, who I'm going to cooperate with. Fortunately, because we have Christ, we have the freedom to choose to do what's right. We're not stuck and forced to choose sin every time. So we can cooperate with him. And the other one, cultivate. Um, you know, anything that I want to do in my life and I want to do it well it takes practice. You know, yeah. and I have to be intentional if I want to get better at a, at a sport or or any skill. I'm going to have to practice. I'm going to have to be intentional. Same thing here. If I if I look at this, I say, man, um, self-control. You know, I need to work on that. So I might need to be a little more intentional and practice self-control in smaller areas of my life to build up to bigger ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, I've got to cooperate with the Holy Spirit to, to display those in my life and cultivate them. Uh, Absolutely. Day by day one. Uh, and, of course, in the community of, of the church as well. Absolutely. And, and, you know, we're new people in Christ. We are. And so we can operate out of what the Bible calls the new identity of the Christian or the new man. And we can choose to move in obedience. And the flesh is still there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it's a pull back to those old ways. But, yeah, you, 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 you cooperate with what the Holy Spirit is leading you and prompting you to do. And, of course, what he says in his word right there oh yeah and then you cultivate that discipline Mm -hmm. godliness is a discipline we forget about that don't Mm -hmm. we you know we we think godliness is an experience or or it's something for only certain kinds of christians but it isn't you know every one of us has Mm -hmm. it Uh, why why is making this a priority in your life so important the fruit of the spirit i mean Mm -hmm. why is it an important thing for people to pursue great question yeah this isn't something that's just for kids joe I mean, even I have, though you learned about it, when I, you were I have this memory of like a, a poster with, you know, an apple that said gentleness and a watermelon that said joy or whatever it was. You want know, fruits and back from when you were oh a kid, yeah, in, I remember, in kids I remember class? something like that. Okay. So, but it's not. This is not just for kids. You know, this mm-hmm. is certainly adults. We we need this. Why is it so important? Because I think uh, in a culture where things are changing rapidly, uh, we have this temptation. I think to react. You know, this happened, so I'm going to react. And I have a choice. Every time I react, to choose to react according to the deeds of the flesh or according That's to the, right. the uh, fruit of the Spirit. So I think this is just an important skill that uh, yes. believers of, of all times and places need to, need to work on. Uh, if you look around the world and you, 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 know, you look at these nine fruits of the Spirit, say, do we need these? Love, joy, peace, oh. patience, wow. kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Mm-hmm. Wow, what a... Our world needs this. Um, we need this. We do. And so we just think it's really valuable to think about it today. Yes. To prayerfully uh, consider it in our own hearts how we can move uh, closer towards Christ-likeness in these areas. Amen. Well, it's, it's our calling. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in changing times, it becomes even more important. So we hope you've enjoyed just uh, a couple of guys that are in the battle with you, mm-hmm. a couple pastors thinking out loud about the Bible, about the control mm-hmm. of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord encourage you with what we've talked about today uh, we do look forward to seeing you this sunday for worship to identical worship services 8 30 10 30 hey we're welcoming new members in we are uh, this sunday we're going to have a, a wonderful welcoming service in a 10 30 hour mm-hmm. uh, for some new families that are joining us in membership so we're grateful that we're able to move forward as a church and uh, that you're part of it mm-hmm. so uh, we look forward to seeing you on sunday until then may the lord bless you thanks josh for mm-hmm. Engage in a conversation, and we will check you out this weekend. God bless you guys.